Jesus. He can not only read your thoughts, but influence them as well. Meet Wayne Hoffman. I know what people think. I know what they'll do before they do it, and I get in their heads and mess with them. <laughs> the favorite part is watching people's reactions, watching them freak out. I get a thrill out of it. I've taken 10 years out of my life and dedicated it to studying and reading and interacting with people. And just by looking at a person, the way they dress, move, act, and speak, I know exactly what's going through their mind at that moment. Is what I do a little bit mischievous? Of course. No, I like to read the girl's mind and get her phone number. It's a little bit more my style. This is why I'm here. This is why I'm on Earth. To come out and freak people out. <laughs> What's up, guys? You ready? You ready? Let's get into it. I have a question. Do you guys think it's possible to get inside someone's mind and have any influence over their actions? Well, tonight we're going to find out. You see, one month ago to the day, I made a prediction that's either going to make or break my career right here on live television. Hello. Hi. How are you? You're going to get inside my mind. I'm ready to get inside your mind. Usually guys get inside my mind. Try to get inside my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Never mind. Let me explain before we go any further. This is the, right here, right now, is the first time you and I have ever met, correct? Absolutely. If you feel any influence at any time during this exper experiment, I want you to fight it because I don't want any anger coming my way later. I don't want you to think I manipulated you, okay? My heart's beating really fast. It is? Mine too, believe me. Step over here. We have markers. They smell good, but don't try that at home. Okay. I want you to draw the image right here. And by the way, it doesn't matter if your artwork is good or bad. Just draw it here. You have about 10, 15 seconds. And while she does that, I want you guys to check out a video clip of something I did about a month ago. Check this out. All right, guys, so uh, I'm here, and my man Mike is about to ink up my arm. This is what you call an extreme prediction. And, and I think this officially proves my insanity. <laughs> oh, man, here we go. What? I have a tattoo on my arm. Shut up. It's going to be here for the rest of my life. Of what Are I'm you drawing? Oh, <laughs> Are you finished? Do you want to see it? Yeah, yeah. What did you draw? <laughs> so is it possible to get into someone's mind and have any influence over their actions? Shut up. Shut up. Here's your answer. Let me see. What's up, guys? Wayne Hoffman checking in. We're going to do a little experiment with Ross. Can you help me out? Sure. Do you have a bunch of junk in your pockets, keys, <laughs> yes, coins, anything like that? Take uh, a handful of stuff out. All right. Yes. Anything okay. metal? I cool. Have we have coins. it. Awesome. Do me a favor. Stand up. Okay. Here. All right. Let me, uh, let's see here. We'll grab one of the coins. We'll use a quarter. You can put the rest away because okay. uh, we, we won't be needing it. I have okay. a marker. I want you to take the marker, uh, uncap it, and your name's Ross. So put a big R right there on the coin. That way you know there's no funny business later, okay? Gotcha. I need the marker back. I want to budget. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. Hold out your hand. Okay. I'm going to put the coin in your hand. I want you to squeeze it. Okay. Turn your hand like this uh -huh. and don't move. Now, you don't feel anything weird, do you? No. It's just a quarter sitting just in your quarter. hand. Just a quarter. When I go like this towards your hand, I want you to begin to rub the quarter between your fingertips. All right. And you're actually going to feel it bend while it's in your hand. Shut up. <laughs> Watch. Start rubbing it now. Do you feel it bending? Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up! You feel it, don't yes, you? Yes, I feel it bending! Stop! Ah. Let's take a look. Oh, I don't want to. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm magic. You are. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely models from Deal or No Deal. <laughs> All right, you, you ladies ready? We're ready. Let's do this. We're going to try a little experiment with this entire bowl of change that we have. Can you do me a big favor? It's very simple. I'm going to turn around. I want you to grab a handful of change okay. and hold it in a closed fist just like that and let me know when you've done it, okay? Okay. Got it? All right. Do you have a handful of change? I do. Hold it in a closed fist out in front of you, okay? I'm going to turn around. You ready? Yes. All right. Do you know how much change is in your hand right I now? I have no idea. I think I do. You do. <laughs> I'm going to try anyway. Let's see. Uh... And uh, since this is deal or no deal, if I get it right, I get your phone number after the show. <laughs> deal or no deal? Deal. Deal. Excellent. <laughs> Hang on to this so they know I don't cheat. Count it. See how much you grabbed. Dump it right here on the table. Count it to the penny. I got all quarters. I, all quarters. That's lucky. How much did you grab there? $1.50. Now, there's no way I could have known that. Do you find that weird? What? You have 
a dollar fifty to the penny. Wayne Hoffman's here, and he swears. And by the way, he's had no contact with the three women we're bringing in. And he says he can look at them and tell what color panties they're wearing. Here's, here's what we're going to do. First, I have to profile them. And we're gonna, I, I, what I do is I have to mentally letter them. So you'll be A, Lacey. Mm -hmm. uh, Brooke. And Brooke will be B. And you will be C, Pamela. Pamela. Okay, okay, so A, B, letter and C. A, I have letter A. Uh, this is what That's I wrote. Me. And you saw me That's write me. this prediction <laughs> before she even What does pulled. it say, Artie? It says pink. Very good. Uh, we're in Wayne Hoffman. He's a mentalist and illusionist. Yes. <laughs> who was uh, featured not too long ago on the uh, NBC TV show Phenomenon, who is uh, going to stop by and remind me that I wanted to be a magician when I was a kid. And actually, you started it when you were a kid. I did. And what happened? I need some competition. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at that. I mean, look at that picture of me. Uh, all right, so uh, distract me from the news. What do you got? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, I, I've actually watched your show many times, and oh, I always wanted to get in your mind. Yeah. Really? So yeah. I, I, now I have the opportunity. What a liar. No, it's the truth. Really? It's the truth. I'm going to try yeah. something with you and see uh, uh -huh. how, how well I can do. I'll tell you what, clear your mind for a second, if it's possible. I know. Yeah. I know. Just look at me. Yeah. All right. And don't worry, I won't tell a soul the stuff that I get. Uh, All right. You will. Uh. Let's just say this. Do me a favor. Name a number. Just say a number out loud between one and... I'll give you up to 100, anything that comes to your mind. That's interesting, because you could have said whatever you wanted, right? Yeah. Take a look at what I had there. Wow. Yeah. You will but say 93. I will say 93. On the dot. And I did say 93. Yeah. It's in there for some reason. <laughs> Think of that person now. OK, you didn't tell anyone around, did nope. you? OK, and then you obviously didn't tell me. Mm -hmm. Think of it. Think of their name, all right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Just look at me. Let's try it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, G, K, I'm going to be curious too. Actually, you, you, three people crossed your mind in the very beginning. Uh, you stuck with one, then you changed your mind. You went from a female to a male in your mind. Uh, you ended on the, uh, you went from the younger female to, you went to the older male in your mind. Uh, now, the name you first thought of was the second letter in A? Yes. Yeah, is it a female? Uh, yes, because you were right, I uh, thought of three. You did. The, yeah. se the, the female, second letter in A. Are you married? You married? You are. Yes. Uh, well, you weren't thinking of your wife, were you? Well, let's see, that's why I crossed out of too easy. Tanya, and yeah. you changed it to your dad? Exactly right. There you go. Think of the number now. In fact, do you have your cell phone turned on and with you right now? Yeah. yeah do me a favor. Turn it on ring. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you were out and you just wanted to, you know, get a girl's number, <laughs> I'll be writing a book. It'll be for sale. Right uh, all I'll ask you for, please, out loud, is um, to please tell me your area code. 717. 717. Think of the rest of it. Think of your phone number. Uh, what I'd like you to do is uh, turn it all the way up and, and, and just... Uh, Have a, have a try. <laughs> Do me a favor, answer your phone. Say hello. hello. Say Wayne, your show is amazing. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> What's your name? Sharon. What is it? Sharon. Sharon? Yeah. Think of the name of this person right now. Yes or no in your loudest voice, please. Is this from high school? Yeah. It is? I'm seeing also, uh, I'm seeing a female in your mind, okay? This is a friend from high school. Do you still keep in contact with her? Yeah. Yes or no if I were to say that, um, that you enjoy the company of your friend Betsy? Oh, my God. I'll take that as a yes. Let's give her a round of applause. Give it up. Thank you so much.